Eight days after invading Russia's Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces had completely captured their first major settlement, the city of Sudza. They also captured a record number of Russian troops defending the city. And as Forbes analyst David Axe writes, the captured Russian troops included conscripts, which says a lot about the underlying dynamics of the fighting in the Kursk region. As the analyst notes, officially in Russia, conscripts, men aged 18 to 30, who served a year of compulsory military service, were supposed to serve strictly on the second line of the front and were not supposed to participate in combat. Everything changed in Kursk when the Ukrainian offensive overwhelmed units that should never have been on the front lines. There were several instances of large groups of confused and frightened Russian conscripts, some of whom had only fired a few rifle shots during their cursory military training, surrendering to battle-hardened Ukrainian troops, the article said. At the same time, the conscripts who tried to retreat were thrown back by Chechen blocking detachments. As the Forbes analyst writes, this is still a Soviet tradition when the blocking detachment forces poorly motivated soldiers to fight, threatening them with arrest or even execution. Compared to well-trained professional troops, insufficiently prepared conscripts are more likely to try to flee when caught in fire. Therefore, the analyst notes, conscripts and blocking detachments in the Russian army operate in parallel. However, forcing the 488th Motorized Rifle Regiment to turn around and engage in combat did not improve its chances in combat with the 88th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and part of the regiment was captured by Ukrainian Special Forces. And such troubles could continue to await Russians, Forbes writes, as the Kremlin sends more conscripts to Kursk in an attempt to slow the Ukrainian advance. This is already causing discontent among ordinary Russians who never expected their conscripted sons to see actual combat. As Forbes writes, it is not yet clear why the Kremlin is violating its policy of banning conscripts from fighting and risking a political crisis. Perhaps Russian commanders are saving their professional troops for the ongoing offensive in eastern Ukraine. But it is also possible that the extra professional troops are simply not available. Sending capable soldiers to Kursk would create new gaps in Russian lines in Ukraine. Redeploying professional soldiers could help contain a Ukrainian invasion, but at the risk of triggering Ukrainian breakthroughs elsewhere, the article says. The Independent reported that the armed forces of Ukraine have captured around 2,000 Russian soldiers in the Kursk region. According to a British media outlet, Ukrainian troops captured Russian soldiers during an operation in the Kursk region to use them as a swap for their civilians. In particular, one Ukrainian colonel told the Independent that up to 2,000 Russian soldiers were captured. This is not an exact figure, but photos and videos show a large number of captured Russians in the Kursk region. Japan cancelled hundreds of flights and many trains in the Tokyo area as it braced for the arrival of a very strong storm near the capital. Typhoon Ampel has intensified over the last two days and has developed to the equivalent strength of a Category 4 hurricane. Japan's meteorological agency classified the typhoon as being very strong and authorities have asked some 10,000 households to evacuate in some areas near Tokyo. The Japanese authorities have warned that the storm could bring violent wind, high waves, and the risk of landslides. In the coastal city of Isumi, one of the areas expected to feel the brunt of the nearby storm, authorities issued an evacuation notice to nearly 17,000 households, calling on the elderly and those with disabilities to evacuate, according to public broadcaster NHK. A similar notice was issued in the city of Yokohama, south of Tokyo, with authorities warning that all residents should be prepared to evacuate. The city of Mabera, east of Tokyo, issued evacuation orders for residents in areas prone to landslides and floods, citing the possibility of damage from the typhoon. The city also suspended its municipal buses. Ampel has also disrupted Japan's delivery system. Japan Post and Yamato Transport suspended operations in several prefectures. Sagawa Express said that delays caused by traffic restrictions and ferry and flight cancellations would affect areas as far as Hokkaido, in northern Japan.